Hi, I'm Raina Morgan with Eye Health Tube, and we're visiting with Dr. Rappaport. Dr. Rappaport, let's address, um, we we've talked about lack of energy. Let's address things like fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue syndrome, please. Two extremely important indications that have a 75% overlap. Fibromyalgia has to do mostly with the lack of function of skeletal muscle. And what we have talked till now applies to fibromyalgia and there has been, there have been in the past attempts at utilization of ATP in several formulations to overcome fibromyalgia. And some of them uh, met with success actually. With the ATP. The for the reasons that we have discussed before, mm -hmm. namely stimulation of blood flow, enhanced disposal of oxygen into the, into the skeletal muscle, enhanced disposal of nutrients, mainly glucose into skeletal muscles, build up of glycogen, the enablement of um, the formation of ATP inside the skeletal muscle, which produces the mechanical energy of the skeletal muscle without the need for oxygen, and the improvement in the disposal of glucose into skeletal muscle by stimulation of the expression of GLUT4, the major transporter of skeletal muscle for glucose. So all these factors undoubtedly significantly would affect fibromyalgia. Now, another aspect about chronic fatigue syndrome that is not paid much attention to, and these two indications, though they are extremely uh, common, relatively speaking, don't, are not met by the medical establishment uh, with the vigor that they should be. Uh, chronic fatigue syndrome has to do with um, chemical toxicity and also uh, in addition, uh, it, deterioration of liver function. Okay. And uh, the ATP that stimulates the, the improvement in intracellular ATP also improves liver function. Okay. This is something that's uh, well established. And with fibromyalgia, there is a buildup of like lactic acid and yes. ammonia, and so yes. ATP helps remove yes. those. Uh, toxins. Yes. As I mentioned before, ATP is now an approved drug in France and goes under the brand name of Atepagen, and it's approved for the indication of low, subacute low back pain, what's also called lumbago. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, the mechanism is the stimulation of removal of waste products along with the enhanced disposal of nutrients, oxygen, and glucose into the muscle. Okay, well thank you Dr. Rappaport.